Hey guys, I got a short video about a new evolution saw that I bought. <clears throat> there it is. R355 off of Amazon. Uh, so I got a job where I'm building some handrails for somebody and there are a lot. Uh, I got to build a bunch of 45 degree frames. Um, so I got a lot of angles that I'm having to repeat. And the job is definitely going to pay for a new saw, so I thought I'd buy this thing and try out to see how a, an actual metal chop saw does. And it's freaking amazing. It's the first day that I've used it, but it's pretty awesome. Definitely cut my job into a fraction of the time. This is just regular standard one by one angle iron. Nothing fancy. Uh, the one thing they tell you, or I've researched not to do, definitely do not cut stainless steel because your blade will be destroyed the first time. You I mean, it's a fraction of the time. Nothing compared to what I used to have to do. So that's a straight cut and it comes with that in order to be able to straight cut uh, angle or round stock all right so this thing is just more or less just got like a miter gauge back here i thought i was getting the one that had the quick release handle but i did not i have found it is pretty freaking accurate. It's got three holes for you to be able to adjust the fence in and out. And I tried to, I originally put it on uh, with this bolt in the center hole. And whenever I put angle on there, it wouldn't cut all the way through it. So I had to figure out the adjustment for it. But angle in the first one does good. found that if you put a piece of square stock in on this angle, I mean it's not rocket science, if you do that it's going to make it a lot more stable. You know? And I can tell you with, uh, with an abrasive saw, there's no way I would be trying to be this accurate. But with this saw, I can be. Don't over tighten it because this fence will bend up and it'll change the angle that you're cutting. But the saw cuts well enough that you don't have to wrench down on it too much. to be 34 inches and I've never touched a piece of metal cutting equipment that would cut something that close a bandsaw cut it that close if you got a good metal bandsaw but I don't have the room for a horizontal bandsaw so the very first problem that I figured out that I was going to have, <clears throat> and I got a simple solution, is this, this angle adjustment will only allow you to cut this angle. If I need to cut 45s that are opposite one another, it it won't do it. Whenever you flip it over and 
can't just, you know, you can't just do that if you're dealing with angle or with square or anything. Your, opposite, your, your angles are opposite one another. You need to be able to turn it. And this saw won't do that. Which was, the second that I realized it, it kind of bummed me out that I did not buy the type of saw where the, uh, where the neck turns instead of the base. I immediately realized why they make them with the neck that turns. And dealing with miter saws with carpentry, it really bummed me out. But all I did was came up with this solution right here. This is, don't ask me, eat, look, if you're buying this saw, I'm assuming you're a fabricator. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're a fabricator. Don't ask me about measurements and all that junk. Figure out how to put these two holes in there. It's easy. This is, uh, I want to say, it's like two and a quarter by two and a quarter angle. Something like that. And all I did was lined up. You gotta have it in the right one, or it won't, the blade won't reach it. You gotta put it in the top two holes. And it'll only do 45 degrees. I didn't make it any other angles. I did try to make it where it would adjust, but the problem is uh, on this side right here, if you're going to make it adjust and go to these holes, then whatever material you're feeding in is going to sit on top of that bolt. So that immediately becomes a problem. Tighten it down. The saw blade is what cut that off, so I know. That's exactly where the saw blade needs to be. We'll just we'll make it simple. Okay. Nothing, nothing difficult. Don't crank it too hard. It doesn't need to be. your opposing 45 that way depending on what you need it's just your opposing 45 so you do all your pieces on one side get one angle you put that plate on there you flip them over and then you get your opposing angle pretty simple you see how well the saw cuts it's pretty awesome you can see these chips. I mean, it's it's not dust. It's actual chips. And I've cut, I don't know, I've probably made 30 cuts today. And it hasn't slowed down at all. Definitely worth the investment. Even if it's only for one job. If the job has enough angles on it, it's definitely worth the investment. Thanks for watching.